So we're asked about frequency. How often should you be emailing your list? Now this will vary between, you know, each business and you know, and each person. So but you need to, it needs to be regular. So what you don't want to do is leave it six months and be all sporadic because people forget why they're on. So you want a minimum of every month you want to be sending an email, okay? And what you can do is in, in a spreadsheet, work out January to December, what are you going to be emailing? What's your topic? And even write it all down, program it in advance so you can set it and forget it, okay? Because life gets so busy and it's always the email that seems to sort of, these sort of things that are really important tend to get left behind because you're too busy dealing with your clients. So try and set it and forget it if you can. Um, so every month um, at the minimum, if you can send it every week, now they don't have to be really long emails, they can be really short, sweet things like, oh, I've just seen this video, I've shared it on my Facebook page, thought you'd really be really interested because it's really funny. Something like that, you know? It doesn't have to be this really long blog post, it can be really short and sweet. Some of my best converting emails were really short to the point of, hey, I've got 20% off over here, enter this code and, and go and grab it now. You know, I worded it differently, but that sort of thing. I've seen some really big players sort of say that their biggest converting emails were like, hey, just checking you're still interested in this. Um, let me know if you are. And then because it looked like quite a personal email, he got um, lots of uh, re replies for that. So um, it doesn't have to be massive. But what I would say is to plan out, create a content diary in, in a spreadsheet or something so that you know exactly what you're going to be writing about on a, um, a weekly, monthly basis, so that you don't have to sit down every month and think, oh, what am I gonna write about now? You already know, you've already got it planned out. It's just a matter of, of filling it in and, and filling in the blanks, okay? So, so yeah, the frequency, complete, look, test it and measure it, you know? If you start doing it every week and you're getting a much higher unsubscribe rate, then maybe pull it down to, to bi-weekly or monthly and see. Um, like I say, don't be scared of unsubscribes, but if it seems particularly high because you're sending it too much or people are saying, look, I, I'm leaving because I just, you're sending me too many emails, you're sending me an email every day, five times a day, um, you know, listen to the feedback you're getting back which will either be verbal through emails or it will be like a numbers thing so again really important to look at your numbers so that you, you know that the other question I get a lot is um, what time of day should um, we be emailing again test and measure every market is different so it depends so think about your ideal customer think about who's on your list when are they most likely to have time to sit and read so if they're in a nine to five job sending it at nine o'clock in the morning probably isn't going to be you know they're busy they're just starting their day but maybe 11 when they stop for a cup of tea and if it's a nice interesting funny little video then that might be the best time to do it or maybe if it's a mum maybe like eight o'clock when the kids are in bed or something they're just getting a chance to to look at their emails so um think about out your target market and when's best for them and again test and measure so send it at seven in the morning have a look at what your open rate is what's your you know and then send it at, in eight o'clock in the evening what's your open rate you know test and measure see um, and maybe send it to your whole list at seven o'clock in the morning and see what your open rate is and then send them send all the ones that hadn't opened it like we've showed you before um, eight o'clock and see if a new proportion of people open it at that time you know just play with it, but monitor your numbers because that's the only way you're going to know if it's working or not, okay?